In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to build a website on Google Workspace in just about five minutes. Whether you're looking to create a personal portfolio, a business landing page, or just a space to share your thoughts online, Google Workspace offers a streamlined, user-friendly platform that makes building a website surprisingly simple. So let's dive right in. First things first, you'll want to navigate to Google Workspace. This is your starting line the gate to getting your website off the ground. Google Workspace combines all the tools and functionalities Google offers, including the ability to create and host websites. After you've landed on the Google Workspace page, the next step is to choose the Google account you'd like to use for this project. This could be your personal account, a dedicated business account, or any account that you have prepared for this purpose. It's crucial to select the right account here because it will be associated with your new website. Once you've selected your account, you'll be prompted to enter your password. Security is key, so make sure you enter your password carefully to avoid any access issues. After entering your password, proceed by clicking Next to move forward. At this point, you'll see several Google apps and services displayed. Look for the square dots icon on the top right of the screen. It's also known as the Google Apps icon. Clicking on this will reveal a panel of Google services and applications. From the array of options available, you want to look for sites. This is Google's intuitive website building tool. Don't worry if you can't find it immediately. It might require a bit of scrolling depending on how many Google services you use. Upon clicking the sites link or icon, you'll be taken to the page where magic starts to happen. Here you're faced with two choices. You can either start building your website from scratch by clicking on the big plus icon or kick things off with a template. If this is your first time, I recommend browsing through the templates. They're not only a significant time saver, but also provide some inspiration for your website's layout and design. Now it's time to dive into adding content to your website. This part is exciting because it's where your website starts to take shape and personality. Whether it's text, images, or even videos, you can easily drag and drop elements into place. Feel free to experiment and see what works best for your vision of the website. Getting closer to the finish line, once you're satisfied with how your website looks and feels, it's time to share it with the world. Look for the publish button. This critical step takes your website from being a private project to a live site accessible by anyone on the internet. Upon hitting publish, you'll be prompted to choose a web address. This is how people will find your site, so think carefully. It's often best to keep it simple, memorable, and relevant to the content or purpose of your website. After choosing your web address, you'll hit publish once again to seal the deal. And just like that, congratulations are in order. You've successfully built and launched your website using Google Workspace. This completes our quick guide on creating a website with Google Workspace. It's amazing how something that seems as complex as building a website can be made accessible and relatively easy with the right tools. Remember, what we've covered today is just the beginning. Google Sites offers a wealth of features and customization options, so don't hesitate to explore further. Thank you for watching and happy website building.